Hey guys, Rodney Walker here of Grant Central USA. Get funded with Rodney. I'm here today at Grant's community blog. And this is uh, the government's grant site that has great information. And I want to take a look at what we've been talking about. We've been looking at what is a grant. And I've been discussing with you what is a block grant. We've already looked at that. We looked at what is discretionary grants and what is a mandatory grant. And today we're going to be looking at what is a formula grant. If you didn't get a chance to catch the other videos on this topic, go back and check them out. But for now, we're getting ready to see that a formula grant is actually a type of a mandatory grant. And as we look at it, we'll see it kind of spelled out here that it's we're awarded and this specific type of grant has a unique element to it. Now, remember, we talked about how the legislative department of our government, how the legislators make the laws, regulations, and then they send down money to help to that's been appropriated to carry out and build upon what the laws are that's been passed. So this money is oftentimes going to governmental agencies that are in charge of administering that particular grant. And sometimes they'll have a formula oftentimes like this for the way that money is to be allocated to its recipients. So as we look, they give an example here about Medicaid and Medicaid is an example of a formula grant grant and it's been issued out. And as long as the regulations are followed, look at this line right here and they comply with the service by doing what they they're supposed to do, then that state will receive their formula of the grant. So it's like a matching grant and a matching grant is simply a grant that requires that the other entity brings something to the table or provide something or does something in order to get the other matching part of the funds. So in this case, that's what this example is in terms of formula grants. Now let's look at these different types of grants. If you'll scroll down with me, you'll see that a formula grant is different for every program. And as we look, here are some of the basic elements of it that are worth noting. Number one, a formula grant. These are allocated to states based upon the proportionate population of those younger than 18. And then the second thing that's worth noting is that a state grant must, a state government must use two thirds of the formula grant to uh, award pass through funds to local agencies to implement the program. Now, pass through funds, just so you know, are funds that are coming from one entity passed on to the next. So, for instance, funds may start out being grants that are, are, are funding that's given to the federal government. The government from there may give it to the state. The state from there may issue down to the county or even at the city level. That's passing through funds. Now let's look at this last compliance issue. Non-compliance is one of the, of in one of the four core requirements can lead to a 20% reduction in funding the next year. So they use this as a tool to make sure that people do what they're supposed to do. If not, they're penalized by there being a lack of funds in that area in the following year. Hope this helps you, my friend, as you continue to learn about what these discretionary and formula grants are and all these mandatory grants. I know it's a lot of information, but there's a wealth of information here. Continue to go through it because it's going to help you to gain the insight that you need to get funded, especially as it relates to these government grants. Be brave, be bold, be brilliant. And I'll see you next time.